Hampton folks, Richard here from Fat Man Reviews. Today we're going to be doing a quick how-to video, specifically asked for by a viewer called Brandy Brandy. Wants to know, how do you change the O-rings on a Falcon King tank? Well, let's go and find out. Okie dokie, not one to waste an opportunity, I've decided to make this a multi-purpose video. We're going to be changing the O-rings, the glass and the coil. Everything I'm about to show you will work on other tanks also. So not to teach you how to suck eggs, but anti-clockwise we'll unscrew this existing glass, which is actually plastic, not glass. <laughs> if we see here, this is the O-rings that we're going to want to change. Right, you're going to need a pair of tweezers or a sharp knife, just something to get under that rubber coil and force it out of the recess. You don't need to be particularly careful if you're changing the O-rings because they've failed, so have at it. Now, while the base will look different, the same principle applies. Just get your tweezers or your knife and just yank it right out of that recess. Come on, don't be shy now. Just give it a good yank. Right, so what you're going to need now is your new O-rings. Now, Horizon Tech did send these O-rings with the tank, not Everybody does that, so if you've not already got them, go and get replacements before yanking out the old ones. Now when you're putting the new ones on, just make sure it's the same type of o-ring you took out that you're putting back on. So this top one here is a thick, round, circular one. And just force it back in to that channel there, that recess, just making sure it makes a good seal. And you do the same for the base. Now the base one uh, you'll see is slightly different, it's got two lips, just make sure you put them on the right way, otherwise you're not going to create a vacuum and you're going to end up pissing all your juice down your mod. again, once it's in, just make sure that it's seated properly by taking your nail or your finger and just giving a bit, a bit of pressure on there. See that? It popped out there. Just make sure that it's in that recess before installing your glass. So I figure while we're changing the tank o-rings, we may as well change the juice well o-ring. So to do that, same principle, just tweezers or a knife and just yank it out of there. And as for installing the new one, you just pretty much do it in reverse. You take it, you squish it in, make sure it goes into that recess, try closing your top cap over just to make sure it's not catching anywhere and if it is, just give it another little shove into place. It will set eventually once you've sort of got it in place and you've closed your top cap over over the top of it. It will it will seat itself fairly well. We may as well change the chimney o-ring as well because why not? Again, the chimney o-ring, you just take your tweezers or your knife and just yank it on out of there. This one's fairly simple. It's small. It's generally white, but it can be any colour. And normally, again, it does come in a spare bag with your tank. Put the new one on, just make sure it fits into the recess by running your finger across it. Now changing the glass, may as well do that because as you've seen, TBD, it's plastic, only held 2mm. <laughs> so we'll change the coil first because I don't like those big fat coils. Nice, nice smaller profile coil. We take our glass, we take our top cap and we just screw it on in, making sure that the glass fits snugly over those new seals that we've just installed. And that's it. Thanks very much for watching. Catch you in the next video.